Hello, this is Dora, also known as the Maya Spirit, here to do just a quick little video. Um, I've been super busy, long time no see, right? <laughs> um, so, I did purchase a few um, the decks recently. Uh, a lady that was selling in one of those Facebook um, trade, sell, and buy type of groups. Um, and she was offering about 12, yes, 12 decks. And then um, I offered $100 for them. I got them. And I got various decks that I've always wanted to try out. But, you know, I, I don't have a big collection. But I want to try some of these out. Now, I'm not keeping all of my decks. I, and the previous video shows you all the decks that I got. Um, but this one is one of my favorite ones. I'm a big Frida Kahlo fan. And if you are... Um, you'll notice that this one is an anniversary one. So she was born in 1907. Um, I won't tell you too much about Frida Kahlo because it seems like everybody knows who she is right now, what she's all about. So um, it comes with, it's a pick deck, pip deck, like Marseille type. Um, let's see. This shows you a little bit how they are um what they kind of look like let's see the back of the box shows you so in the anniversary is as in the anniversary of her birthday so this came out in nine uh, 19 2017 okay let me just put that aside this is what the back of the cards look like so they're non-reversible but for me all decks are reversible because if you flip them a certain way then they will always be whatever it is, okay? But because of the way it's written, for those who don't like to be bothered with the backs, yes, this is not reversible according to this. <clears throat> but the bug, the instructional book does show reversals and everything. Um, I originally thought it had details about how the deck was made and what was the idea behind it. Other than it being a Frida Kahlo deck, um, it doesn't give you details. I thought it did. That was my mistake. So it's just your basic booklet. You'll kind of open it like this. It comes with, I believe, about four different languages. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like it comes in um, Spanish, English, French, Dutch, and Portuguese. And it comes in, you know, with a sample of the Celtic cross. Tells you a little bit of details about what the history of tarot a little bit. And then just your basics of uh, upright and reversals. And there you go. Okay. So it is a pip deck, Marseille type. Here is the, the face card. Okay, hopefully this is showing up correctly. I'm trying not to get it to have too much glare. For those who are interested, it is slightly um, glossy or waxy. Okay, um, nice cardstock. It'll hold up through a lot of readings. Okay, and this is something I've always wanted the Frida Kahlo um, deck, but I didn't think it was available because it came out uh, some time ago and um, I got it on, on that bundle recently. Um, so let, let me go ahead and get started. Let's go through the major arcana let's see so that's the major arcana uh, the coins are coins <laughs> and we'll go through those let me see okay and she is all of the court cards the swords have all have a heart and you'll notice that all of the fours have um, a sugar skull for death, um, like a, a Day of the Dead, which she also um, did like, it's, it's my understanding that she did celebrate that. Mexican traditions. Then you have your wands, which in Mexico we call them bastones. Or batons, I think they call them that too in English. Okay, there's your four with the sugar skull. And that's her. And we'll go through these. 
Then we also have the cups. There's your four with a sugar spoon. And maybe eventually I'll find out why that is. So here we go. And the cups are cups. So let's see. The first thing that I noticed, it's that indigo, that beautiful blue. And it reminds me of her house, her blue house, La Casa Azul. Then as the fool, or el loco, she had monkey um, pet for pets that she loved dearly. So that's who they have as the fool, the little monkey. Now for her, they have her as a magician. Uh, the only thing that I do recognize is her necklace that I've seen in other pictures, very similar to that. So I don't really know. Let's see, they have a witch's hat on her and hmm, crystal ball. But I do not see the elements on here. Or maybe I do and I just have to figure it out. High Priestess looks very familiar, like the High Priestess. Okay. The Empress. I could think of many different paintings that they could have used as the Empress. The Emperor. Let's see. I don't see. These look like paintbrushes. Okay. The Hierophant. Let's see. That looks familiar right there. That's a very familiar picture for the lovers. Because uh, she was bisexual, but that is herself twice, right? But it's still a clever choice. The chariot. Now, this one, um, as you know, she was bed bound for a very long time. Um, so there's a saying that she had, a famous saying that uh, it said, Pies para que los quiero si tengo alas para volar, which means feet, what, I, what do I need them for when I have wings to fly? So I see the feet here that are no use for her. And then here are the wings. And there's alas para volar, wings to fly for the chariot. That's pretty clever. Let's see for justice. Makes sense. The hermit, I see a little lantern. Wheel of Fortune, I guess I just added that little wheel right there. Hope oh, these pictures are showing up. This is a very famous one for strength. All the pain she went through with things done to her spine, and you know, if you know the history about her health. And this is the one for strength. Hangman, they just put her upside down. And death. Oh. We did a look similar to what a sugar skull is, but you see her famous eyebrows, her lipstick, and her flowers. Temperance, they just have the tooth uh, like jugs with the water. Okay. There you go with a uh, skull. And then you see the roses, the white roses, which are familiar with death. Well, at least the writer's white with that flag. The tower, this looks like broken tower, but it looks more like her spine. Remember, she had those brace, that brace that covered her, the, the brace on her back, and she was bound. And there's the clavos. Clavos are uh, screws or nails. There you go. The star. I'm assuming some of the flowers that she used to wear. The moon. Very clever. Looks like her hair with flowers coming out like that. Let's see. Now the sun. Doesn't look familiar. Other than... Uh, I don't know if they're hearts or marigold flowers. It looks like a sun. Let's see, judgment. That kind of looks like when she used to have a cigarette, but she's got that horn for judgment. And the world. 
just a beautiful Frida Kahlo at the very end. Okay, so now the coins. She is on all the coins. You see that that's her with her. You can see her flowers. Very beautiful. The two. Three. Oh, so you can't tell if they're reversible or not. The fours. Five. I think they're, they're pretty much the same, right? <laughs> We go eight nine and ten so those are easy to flip through now let's take a look here just so that at least you can admire the pictures of her because I don't know where they took them from but they obviously they are of hers let's see this is the page the knight the queen And I wonder if they're using the same flower so you can tell that this is coin. Well, obviously that there's a coin here, but I wonder if they're all the same flowers for the same suits for the court cards. Let's take a, take a look at the heart. There we go. They look identical with the yellow flowers on the side and the sword in the middle. Three. Four. There's a sugar skull. Oh, maybe there's a theme on the fours. Let me take a quick peek. Oh. Yeah. Let's take a look. Coin. What's on there? No, it looks like a heart. Let's see what's this one. Oh, this one's got roses. You would think this one would be the one with the with the heart, but okay. Eight, nine, and ten. Let's take a look at the court cards so you can see. Admire her picture. Page. Knight. Queen. That's a beautiful picture. Thank you. Let's see, we're gonna look, take a look at the wands, the bastones. Okay, that's like your traditional Spanish cards. Oh, see, this one looks like a cross. Somewhere between a cross and a... Maybe a... Yeah, a cross. Hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, I guess they're di they're the same. These look like uh, gardenias, I think. I could be wrong, but let's take a look here. Page, knight, queen, and king. Now let's take a look at the cups. On the cups, she looks a little more like Samo Hayek <laughs> in the movie, right? Let's see, so that's the one, two, three, okay, that was a purple flower, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's take a look at the court card. Oh, see, they, they look like um, hibiscus flowers a little bit, so I don't know if that's what they are, but that's one of my favorite drinks, Jamaica, which is actually a hibiscus tea drink. Very popular in Mexico. And King. Okay. Let's take a quick look, see how well it shuffles. I love the size of these cards. Let's see. Let's switch them around so that they're, we get half and half. Oh, oof, they're slippery. Very waxy. Let's take a look at all these. Let me see if I can shuffle like... Ha! 
how do you say her name? But she's green now. Green new green. You know who I'm talking about. But she shuffles like this, and then she goes like this, something like that. Oh, these are too stiff, and they're too little. Let's see if we can do that. Almost. They shuffle beautifully. Let's see. You also do the side waterfall. Let's see how to cut off. Oh, that looks, that's pretty good. They are a bit slippery. Let's see how they look. I usually play, play. I use seven card readings. The majority of my readings when it comes to tarot. And then I add gorgeous, wow. So maybe after quarantine, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right. I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, and I believe it's still available. Um, it's supposed to be out of print, but I know you can still get it. I've seen it sometimes under $20, some places, and then some other people have sold, trying to sell it. Very expensive. So for now, hopefully, maybe next, maybe later this summer, I will be offering a Frida Kahlo theme uh, reading so I can use these cards in additional. Um, because, they, you know, a tarot is a tarot is a tarot, but sometimes people will probably like the experience of Frida Kahlo. Um, I do readings professionally down here in Southern California, um, particularly Barrio Logan. We do celebrate a lot of Day of the Dead there. And I hope you enjoyed these cards as much as I did. Thank you very much and you have a nice evening. Bye-bye.